I think the Medical Innovation Bill will increase accessibility to investigational drugs and new medicines for patients and clinicians, and I think that is a good thing on all counts. I think one thing we've learned over the past several decades is that just pouring more and more money into drug discovery is not the answer. We're not generating enough new medicines for patients. Uh, I'm not convinced it's about money. I think it very much is about innovation. We need innovation in terms of targets that we work on, innovation in terms of how we deliver those reagents to patients. We need innovation in terms of how we discover drugs. We need innovation in terms of how we work together to discover those drugs. I think the whole system needs completely transforming. Many academics, many biotechs, and many farmers, they all work in parallel, in secret, on the same few targets. So the system currently is wasting a lot of resource, it's wasting a lot of people's careers, but it's also wasting a lot of patients. So what the Structural Genomics Consortium does is that we only work on novel human proteins. And for those proteins, what we do is we generate the purified protein. We also develop assays for those proteins. We generate small molecule inhibitors for those proteins. And of course, these are starting points for drug discovery. Now, what's unique about us is that all of these reagents that we generate, all of these early tools for drug discovery, we make them freely available. We're obviously driving innovation because we only work on new proteins. We're crowdsourcing science. You know, we're getting 400 labs all over the world to use their expertise and resources to use this molecule that we've generated to profile biology, etc. We're also reducing duplication and we're accelerating the discovery of new medicines. We've got no secrets, we share all of our know how, all of our expertise all of our reagents. And frankly, that transparency creates a lot of trust, which is great for collaboration, it's great for science, and it's great for drug discovery.